Creating a compelling professional landing page for your listings is fast and easy with vFlyer. Here's an example. This layout has a built-in flash component that rotates through the photos in the flyer. It also has other valuable features such as a contact form and an integrated map. Let's now look at the vFlyer editor to learn how to create a flyer. There are two ways to initiate the flyer creation process. First, by clicking the Flyers tab, then selecting the appropriate flyer category from the drop-down menu and clicking Create, or second, by using the drop-down menu on the account homepage itself. We have over 45 product categories to choose from, so be sure to choose the appropriate category for your flyer. Once you've done this, you can begin entering information into the flyer editor. A title is required for any flyer you publish. It should be a short, eye-catching description of your product or service. Enter a description of the product or service you're advertising in the description field. In general, the description should be no more than a couple short paragraphs. If it's too long, the layout of the printable PDF version of the flyer could be affected. After entering a description, move on to the Features section where you can enter specific information about your product or service. For example, the number of bedrooms in a house, or the make and model of a car that you are selling. The particular fields provided depend on the product category you selected. One of the great advantages of using vFlyer is customizability. In this case, it means you can add fields to the features section. For example, if you are selling a house with high ceilings, you could add a field for ceiling height. Simply click the Add Field link Type a label for the new field and click Add. The added field will appear instantly. You aren't restricted to just one added field either. You can add multiple fields depending on what features you want to highlight in your product or service. After filling in the features, move on to the Attributes section where you can highlight other aspects of your product or service simply by checking the appropriate boxes. As with the Features section, you can add your own attributes by clicking the Add Attribute link, typing an attribute label, and clicking Add. At this point, it's a good idea to save what you've done so far on your flyer by clicking the Save Draft button. Also, a vFlyer session ends automatically after it's been idle for 30 minutes, so always save what you've done before stepping away from the computer. Continuing with the flyer, in the price section, enter a price and any additional pricing information in the fields provided. If you've set up your account profile, you should see some of the information in it in the contact information section. To display the photo and logos from your account profile on your flyer, be sure to check the box above each one. If you want to hide the contact information, or use different information from what's in your account profile, Uncheck the Use Account Information box and enter the new information in the appropriate fields. You can enter your location, or for real estate flyers, the location of the property you're selling or renting, in the Location section. You can show the address and a link to a map of the location on your flyer by leaving these boxes checked. Choose a design theme for your flyer in the Template Look and Feel section. We have a variety of themes available. Click through the list to see what the different design themes look like. I mentioned before that one of the advantages of using vFlyer is the ability to customize. That holds true for flyer themes as you can create your own custom theme by clicking the Create New link. There you will find options for changing the colors, patterns, text size, font, and other characteristics of your flyer. Click Save Theme when you're finished. Your custom theme will then be available for any of your flyers by clicking the custom check circle. You can easily upload photos to your flyer. Click the add main photo link, then click the browse button to choose your main photo. When you've selected it, click the upload photo button. Do the same for gallery photos. You can rearrange the gallery photos once you've uploaded them, simply by clicking and dragging. When you're finished in the photo editor, click return to editor. In addition to photos, you can upload a video to your flyer. Simply select your video host from the drop-down menu. The video can be hosted on YouTube, Flip TV, or Welcome Mat. Once you've done this, paste the code for the video into the box provided. Add links to your website, blog, and any other sites you want viewers of your flyer to visit by clicking Add Link and entering a link title and link URL in the fields provided. Now we come to the automatic submission section. 
where you can select which partner sites you want your flyer to appear on. By default, they will all be selected. Uncheck any sites where you don't want a listing. In general, users want their flyers to be as widely distributed as possible. Click on the Enable Partner Sites link to enable syndication to other partner sites. These sites require an email address in your listing. When you're finished, click the Update button and return to the flyer editor. It usually takes between 24 and 72 hours for a flyer to post to these sites after it's been published. Finally, choose an expiry date for your flyer. The default is 30 days from the date of publishing. You can also opt not to have an expiry date, in which case your flyer will expire only when you unpublish it manually. Click the preview button to see what your flyer will look like when it's published. From here, you can either return to the editor to make changes to the flyer or publish the flyer as it is by clicking the publish button. After you publish, a confirmation screen will appear with a link to your flyer landing page. Once a flyer is published, you can return any time to update it. If you update a flyer, you need to republish it for the changes to take effect. After publishing a flyer, you'll have access to the Craigslist version of the flyer, the printable PDF version of the flyer, and have the ability to email the flyer. Now you're ready to create your flyers. Thanks for watching.